three dollars. Well, I, I went down there and I ate one of these I'd never been on the I do sign That's the way I graduated. I'm driving through there and I'm going back around. Tell me a little bit about playing your senior year, playing the NCAA regional tournament on your home course. Um, you know, for your senior year, it's definitely pretty special to um, to have the regional out here at your home course, a place where you know you feel you have a little bit of an advantage, you know, compared to the most teams. You know, we get to play it a lot. A lot of these teams are coming out here and seeing it for the first time. You're playing. You're seated seventh in the tournament. You think you can make some noise here, especially on your home course? Uh, I think we, we really have a good chance. Um, you know, we played a good practice round today. We got a, got a lot of good work in, and, um, you know, the guys are hitting it pretty good, so hopefully we should uh, we should do pretty well. What is going to be your keys to success this weekend? Uh, definitely driving the ball in the fairway is a big plus. Um, the rough's real deep out there, and... Um, you know, if we can drive it in the fairway and um, hit a lot of greens, and um, you know, hopefully get some putts to drop, we'll do we'll do okay. Talk a little bit about your game. What's it going to take to make you successful this weekend? Um, I'm just going to need I'm going to need to hit it pretty well. I haven't been playing the best lately, but you know, I played a little bit better today, so hopefully I'll carry that into tomorrow. Played the James River, won a state championship there while you were there as an individual. Tell me the difference between playing this and high school ball. Um, you know, at, the, at this level, it's just it's a little bit different. You know, you come out here, and compared to high school, you know, when you play in those tournaments, you know, only you feel like only there's like only a few guys that are gonna about win every match or tournament. But out here, you never know, you know, who's gonna who's gonna win because everyone's so good. Coach, um, tell me a little bit about playing on your home course, playing the regionals. We're very excited about it. I mean, obviously, we don't get a chance to do that in college golf. You know, all our events are away. We don't play matches like in home and home games like we do in other sports. We're very excited to play here, uh, you know, at the Pete Dye River course. It's, it's an honor for our, our university, our athletic department, our golf program, and, and for our, our great golf course here. So we're very excited to be able to play here in front of the Hokie Nation, so to speak. Talk about some of the competition that you're going to be uh, facing this weekend. you got some top-name schools here, especially yes, we, from the ACC. Yes, we do. It's a great field. The NCAA ranked it the uh, one-tenth of a point under the toughest regional. So we're the number two toughest regional, 13 teams, of which five advance. We have four teams from the ACC. Obviously, that makes it very strong because we're one of the elite conferences in college golf. But we're looking forward to it. I mean, it'll be great for spectators to see this kind of quality of player. We've got players in this field that played on the Palmer Cup team. We've got All-Americans, uh, all-conference players, so it should be terrific. Talk a little bit about your team and what it's going to take to be successful this weekend. The golf course is very demanding. You've got to put the ball in play off the tee. That's going to be a must. And then you've got to be able to take advantages uh, when you get around the green and get good birdie opportunities. There won't be a lot of them. Uh, the length of the golf course is something that, that we knew would be a challenge because it's the longest golf course that we've ever played an NCAA on. And then coupled with the fact that we've had rain for nine straight days, it's very wet out there today. I mean, the balls were, uh, the golf course is holding up great. I mean, even balls that were hitting in the fairway and 
not coming up but an inch or two, still didn't have any mud on it. So the quality and the condition of the golf course is terrific, but it's just extremely wet, and that's going to make it you know, a tough, tough track.